Hello everybody, in this video I will show you another way to define the soil layer in our uh, uh, soil profile. So we're gonna go to uh, virtual and then from virtual we can select symbol and then we're gonna define the external boundaries of our section. So an x minimum is gonna be zero, the maximum of x it's going to be 1000 the minimum value of y zero the maximum value of y is 500 we click ok and then we click on ok execute so now we generate the external boundaries of the section that we have now we're gonna use the table tool in flag to generate the external boundary and then we're gonna gen generate also the soil layers using the table tool in flag so in, in order to do that we go to alter uh, sorry we go to utilities and then table from table we're gonna create first table and call it one this represent the external boundaries of the geometry then we click on edit and then we're gonna enter the coordinates the first point is 0 and 200 second point is 300 and 200 the third point is 800 and 500 the fourth point is 1000 1000 and um, 500 okay if you made mistake you just right click and you can modify the coordinates of the points that you just entered uh, once you are good with that we go to another point or another table we can create another table that represent the interface between two materials so we're going to call this table 2 and then we click on edit and enter the coordinates of the of the interface so it's going to be 0 100 and then 1000 and 100 click OK so we define this line which uh, represent the interface between two materials click OK we can show them here so you see if you click on tables you can see this is table 1 here represent the external boundary and this is written table 2 which is this line so now we're gonna call these lines how to do that we go to alter and then from alter we go to shape and then from shape we choose table and then click on table one and then generate and click on table two generate click on execute so now we generated these two lines if you want to get rid of this area we click on material assign null you can do it by rectangle or we just can choose region and just get rid of the whole thing by one click click um, execute if we click on zones and region you see that we have two regions so now we can assign our material if we create one material here um, let's call it one for now elastic this is 1e6 5.25 let's create another material elastic to um, do it to e7 that's fine if we assign the first material here second material here click on execute and now you see that we assign two different materials to do two different regions We have defined two materials. The first material, if we go to uh, the record, we have um, this is the first material, and this is the second material here. Oh. And here we define the tables. You can define the table here and ta tables here and generate also. In the in the coming videos, I'm gonna show you how to do this actually using the fish language instead of using the interface in flag so now we go to the next step 
uh, in situ we apply the boundary condition we're gonna fix it uh, this line here both X and Y we can fix this only in X and this is only in X we click on execute we can find the mesh actually if you want to make it finer that's fine and then we go to settings gravity set our gravity and then run solve oh we didn't define our um, density in the second material so we click on user to edit we should we put a number here so now we defined now it's ready to solve uh, we didn't define this first material maybe yep okay run solve done so we go to blot we click on the end balance almost zero it's fine so we go to model if we want to see uh, see the total stress the y direction and the grid so now we are seeing in this plot the total stress on the top of it there is a, the grid of the of the model so the next video I will show you another way to define um, to define the cell layers. Thank you for watching.